My name is Warren Hewitt. I'm a producer, engineer, mixer. We're at the rather wonderful uh, Sunset Sound. This is my favorite studio in the world, and this is my favorite room, Studio 3, quite often known quite simply as the Prince Room, because Prince, I believe, actually lived in this studio for two to three years. I think what's inherent about Sunset Sound is that the legacy of this studio is just second to none. There's very few studios, I mean, literally a handful of studios in this world that have such a unique sound. So you have the sound of these rooms, but not only do you have the sound of these rooms, the isolation rooms, all of which are unique and really quite special, you have the chambers and you have the plates available. And of course the chamber in one is the door's vocal sound. Um, I think probably most easily to identify is the sound of Van Halen. When you have like, when he does You Really Got Me on the first album, you hear the -na 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 -na. And you just hear the chamber pan to the other side. And it's just like, ga -ga -na -na -ga. We know the records we grew up loving have an inherent sound. They have a sound of the studio they were recorded in. You can use that to the nth degree if you want and just get the whole sound of, of a sunset sound, or you can just dial in little touches of it. I actually think beyond using the, um, the room tones, the large rooms, the chambers, and the plates, beyond that, I think one of the secret weapons of this is going to be is to use the isolation rooms just to give your instrument just a little bit of space around it so it doesn't just feel like the same dry piano sound or whatever it might be that everybody on the planet uses. I think just that inherently is going to start putting it in a place and start to feel cohesive. And that's a big word, gluing things together so they start feeling like a whole, as opposed to lots of really, really super dry instruments hitting you in the face. You're trying to figure out how to place them in the audio spectrum. What we love is the sound of a vintage, not in a microphone for instance, in a room going through a mic pre that also imparts a sound. And that is really what it's about. It's about the, the fact that so many people now are gonna have access to not just what the ambience would be of the room or the impulse response was of the room, for instance, which is you know a big deal. They have the way people record in that room. If you love the sound of a, of a record that was recorded here, you can now bring in the room ambience and the overall, and, and, and use the same chambers and the same plates that we use. It's a wonderful opportunity to really grow as a producer and an engineer and a mixer. The plugin is is a legacy. It, it is going to keep the studio alive forever because it's allowing so many people to come and see and hear, most importantly, what the studio is all about. <laughs>